Now, if she's successful at this, it means another $160,000 goes into her bank balance. She follows the Bubka path of one centimeter at a time, addition to her world record. So here she goes, this in Baeva, second attempt. The world record, five meters and one. Yes, she gets it. She sails clear, five meters and one. Wow, again, her 18th world record. I don't think we'll see her go any further in this competition. She'll save that for another day, another payday. For this in Baeva. Throws the obligatory back somersault in celebration. But what a beautiful jump this was. Comes in, beautiful plant, extends straight up off the pole, and a perfect clearance. So far, over the bar. Let's look at this from the side view. Really concentrating. Attacks the box. Leans back, goes straight up in the air. Pushes off the pole. You can see that she's got a clearance of about a meter plus off the top of the pole. Just perfect technique. Look at that clearance with room to spare. Well, it'll be interesting because there's a world record five meters and one. They are doing a technical analysis of this and with that feedback, you should get a, you should be able to get a good indication of the height that she actually clears above the bar. Because, okay, of course, this is a world record, five meters and one, but she's capable of so much more right now. Well, there's the distance, five meters and one, 41 centimeters over the silver medalist, Monika Perek of Poland. Kavla Hamakova of four meters 50. Tatiana Polnyova also at four meters 50, season's best. Yes, Peter. The previous World Pole Vault Championships, the winning margin has been five centimeters or less. In the men's, Markov won by 20 centimeters. Even the great Bubka only won by 10 centimeters twice, 41 centimeters. That's a staggering margin. Yelena Isimbaeva. The world record holder and gold medalist. 